Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you the basic workflow in Neuron Writer, starting with the project. A project is basically a folder where you store and organize all your documents. As you can see here, you have two options. First one is domain related project. You would go for that option if the content that you're about to write is related to a domain. If it's not, you go for the second option, that is product not related to a domain. In our example today, we are having a content that is related to a domain. So we're going for the first option. I'm going to paste the domain here and follow the steps, like selecting the country that we want our results for, that is USA and the language. Let's keep it simple and choose English. Once you've completed that, you hit create button. Moving on, let's now create a query that we want to rank high for. As you can see here, you have two options. You can either create a query for a new content or an existing one that you want to optimize. The only difference is that with the optimized content, you enter the URL of the page that you want to optimize. We are going to create new content, so I'm going for the first option. Our query is improving English speaking fluency. Then we are selecting the country we want our results for and the language. Once you've completed that, you hit start button and you will find yourself in the content queries window. Once your analysis is ready, you click on it and you will find yourself in the competitors window. Your task here is simple, is to select the most relevant competitors. Why is that important? Because the recommendations you will get later on are based on the competitors you choose right now. This is why it's so important to select the best and most relevant competitors. You can follow three simple steps to do it. Firstly, you select competitors that have the same content type as you. In our example, we are selecting blogs because we are going to write a blog, okay? And we are unselecting anything what isn't a blog like YouTube, okay? Once you've done this, the second step is to opt for the high content score because the higher the content score, the better the quality of the content. You're going to unselect the low content score results. We have six results, that's totally fine. Um, as long as you have more than five results, that's perfect. The third step is to check if the content of our selected results is relevant to the one that you want to write. You can check it by reading the title of the result. But if you want to double check the content, you can click on the link and go to that page, go through it and make sure that this content is relevant to the one that you want to write about. Once you've completed that, you can hit next. I just want to mention our newest feature that is competitors list. It's the feature that enables you to add a certain domain to your competitors list on a project level, okay? So let's add this competitor as well as number four, that is this one, one more here, okay? So I've added three domains to our competitors list. Now, once we're happy with our selection, let's click next. And we are in the content editors window now. The first thing that we want to do is take care of the meta title and the meta description. You can find them clicking on the field next to the title. Now, they're really important for Google and they should be crucial to you because they are the first contact that user have with your content, okay? So when you create them, you want to think about two things. You want them to clearly describe what your content is about and secondly, you want them to be catchy and click worthy so the user will click on your link instead of competitors. You can write them yourself looking at the examples of the selected competitors, looking at how they structured their meta title and meta description and what kind of words they used. 
as well as you want to follow our recommendations to optimize your meta title and meta description. On the other hand, you can use AI option and let AI generate an optimized meta title and meta description for you. I like to mix both options because I like to start with something. AI generated a certain title for us. Now let's modify it. Speak English fluently. Let's change 12 for 6 powerful tips to improve your spoken language skills. Okay, let's see if we can add recommended terms in our title. Okay, let's change that for fluency in English. Awesome, we almost got all of them. Okay, I'm happy with the title. Now I create the description. Let's read it through. Um, then powerful tips. Awesome. The description is fine. It is well optimized. So let's leave it like that. And once you are happy with that, you click save and close. Now let's build an outline. You can either do it manually or use AI to help you. I'm going to show you how to do it manually following four simple steps. First one is to write the heading ideas that you have. Okay. So you choose the header type and then you just write down your ideas. I'm going to copy uh, the meta title and write it as my title as well. And I'm going to write my heading ideas and I will be back with you in a second. Those are the heading ideas I got in mind. Now the second step is to go for the smart heading. You can find them in outline section, clicking on smart headings. Why do we call them smart? Well, because they already include the recommended terms in them. So they are already optimized. Let's read them through and add the ones that we like. For example, this one and this one. Let's just change the heading type. This is number two. Let's add a couple more like this one and that one. And this is um, the second step. The, the third one is to go to your competitors, uh, to the competitor section right there. Um, here are the outlines and headings of the competitors that you've selected in the previous step. I would recommend you to go through them and add any heading that you like. For example, let's add uh, this heading here. Remember that when you add um, the heading from your competitors, you don't want to leave it like that. Paraphrase it if possible, okay? Let's paraphrase it for, don't worry about takes, okay? And let's add one more like this one. Perfect. Speak to yourself. Awesome. Okay, this is um, the third step. And the fourth one is to go to the questions. Those are the questions from people also ask on Google, okay, as well as from the competitors' content. Look for them and add any heading that you like. And this is how you basically build an outline manually. You can do it using AI. You can go, you can find AI template in AI writing section. Once we have our outline ready, it's time to create a content to it. I'm going to use one of our AI option. So I'm going to highlight the heading and then go for AI writing and select start paragraph option. As you can see here, new and writer already filled in the heading and also add the recommended terms in the right places. You can add some bullet points that you want new and writer to include when writing content for you. Choose the tone of voice as well and set the output length. Once you're happy with that, remember to place the cursor in the right place and hit the write for me button. Awesome. The content has been generated. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the headings and I will be back with you in a second. So once we have our content ready, now let's move to the last part that is optimization. And I will focus firstly on explaining all the little bits on the right hand side of the content editor. Firstly, let's talk about the content score. 
The content score basically tells you how far away your content is from your best competitor's content. Your content at the moment is at 70 and your best competitor's content is at 72%. Your aim here is to have a bit higher score than your best competitor's content score, okay? Now, next to the content score, you have the checklist that tells you how well a certain areas of your page are optimized, like title, headings, terms, and words. If you want to see better, more detailed checklist, you click on it, and here you can see all the information you need to optimize your content. First part checks if you've included the query in the most important elements of your page, like meta title, meta description, H1 and H2 headings. Below, there is a usage of suggested terms. It tells you how well the content is optimized with suggested terms. And here you have meta title, meta description, H1 and H2 headings, and terms in text. You would look at this checklist when you optimize to see on which areas you should focus right now. As you can see, meta title and meta description are well optimized. We need to pay more attention on H1 and H2 headings and in text uh, terms. Below, you can see the recommended length of that content that is a little above 1000 words. Now let's move to the terms. Here you have terms in headings and terms in article. Terms in headings, next to them you can see the percentage. This percentage tells you how many of your selected competitors used that word in the H1 heading. The higher the percentage, the more popular and important word is. Moving to the terms in article, you can see the numbers next to the term. The number in bold tells you how many times you've used that term in your content already. After a slash, you can see the recommended amount. The range is from 3 to 19, the optimal recommended range of times that you should use that word in your content. Now, I want to mention one of the options that you have. It's on the bottom and it's option to copy all visible terms to clipboard. And you can copy list of them or terms with suggested users. You can also choose chat GPT prompt with suggested terms and you can copy terms in Yonsen. You can use that option if you want to use our recommendations in another tool to generate content for you. Now I want to talk about the colors and its meaning. As you can see here, the gray are the words, are the terms that haven't been used yet. Light green is consider using more green in suggested range, yellow slightly above the range, and red consider using less. Now I want to show you one of the options where you can exclude the term from the recommendations, like for example, let's say we talk about British English and here you have term with American English, okay? If you don't want to use that term in your content at all, you click on the term and then you choose the option um, exclude from suggestions. So that's are the basics. Now, optimization. You can do it manually or using AI. Manually optimize your content by including those terms in your content. It's very simple. I will show you one example. So let's say that term uh, here, speak English fluently, and let's see if we can add it to H2 or H3 headings. Okay, this one, uh, English fluently. Let's see, perfect. Once you've included that term in content, it will light up on green. And now let me show you how to use AI to better optimize your content. I will go for one of our AI options that is auto insert. Here you have the suggestions um, to boost your content score. The part of the sentence with blue background is the sentence that is already in the content. And below you have the suggestion. And let us show this, um, this part of the sentence in the content. So it's here, accept that one and this one as well. When you use this option, make sure 
you check if the suggestion is the right one for you and that you want to use it. Lastly, I want to show you another optimization option that is using FAQs with unused terms. This is one of our advanced option. I'm going to place a cursor in the place I want to text to appear. Click on that template. As you can see, Neuron Writer filled in the title as well as unused recommended terms in the right places. Let's hit write for me. Look at the content score. It at 74 now. Let's see what content score will we have after that. 82. Perfect. So here the optimization is done. Now I want to show you how to check the plaglarism. You can find the plaglarism option clicking on the three dots on the right hand side of the content editor, then clicking check for plaglarism and then clicking yes. Okay, let's wait a little bit and see how well we've written our content. As you can see, text is 100% unique. That's perfect. Let's save that. Awesome. Before we finish, I want to show you content designer option. Okay, I'm going to remove all of our content. Then content designer, you can find it in AI writing section. Let's click on it. Okay, this is the query. Then you have meta title and meta description. You can change them and modify it along the way. I'm going to hit the create button. Then you have the outline, right? You can add something, modify using the competitor smart headings and questions tab. Let's move forward. And that's all. Your content is prepared and ready. It's already at 55 points. You can now follow the optimization that we've practiced earlier on. Now let's insert some images. So let's click on the image placeholder, then search stock images button. And let's choose the first one, like this image. Okay. Then you click hot link image and insert image button. Awesome. The image is a little bit too big. So let's change the size of it. You change it by clicking on that image and then changing the percentage. Update image. And that's your basic workflow.